All right, today I'm gonna to talk to you about what you want to see on your whey protein label. All right, so we're always told that after workout we should have a protein shake. And usually the first choice that we reach for is whey protein. The biggest reason why we go for whey protein is it's very fast digesting. Once it gets into our body, it gets absorbed fairly quickly. But now there's two basic types of whey protein. There's whey protein isolate and whey protein concentrate. The difference between the two is a whey protein isolate is gonna be a lot faster absorbed, while a whey protein concentrate is gonna take a little bit longer to be absorbed by your body. Now, when you look at the label itself, I'm not talking about the fancy coloring or the big graphics that they're using. I'm looking at the back of the label, the ingredients section. Now, a lot of supplements these days, when you go to the ingredients section, they're gonna be chock full of stuff you're gonna see up to 10, 15 ingredients inside of your whey protein. Now, at the end of the day, you don't wanna be seeing a whole bunch of different ingredients. You only really wanna see three basic ingredients, no more than that. The basic ingredients in any whey protein uh, powder are gonna be the whey protein itself, natural <laughs> flavoring, and maybe you're gonna have a, an ingredient in there that's gonna allow for it to be sweetened such as a sucralose or a stevia. Now, one of the ways you can tell to see what the actual quality of the protein component itself is, is take a look up at the nutrition facts label. That part is gonna tell you how much protein is in every scoop. Now, if you're getting a scoop that's 30 grams, but yet there's only 20 grams of protein, let's do a little bit of math. So two thirds of it is protein, but that other third is gonna be of various things. I don't want the label to be saying 20 grams of that 30 gram scoop is gonna be protein and the other 10 grams is other things like dextrose and other sweeteners or fillers. Uh, you'll even see at times potato starches and other emulsifiers in the actual protein label itself in the ingredients section. Now, one way you can also tell to see if the quality of the protein is high is take a look at where it, the company sources it from. The best quality whey protein on the market right now typically comes from New Zealand. New Zealand grass-fed whey protein. The other good sources will typically be like a Swedish whey protein because these two companies have some of the strictest dairy standards and livestock standards in the world. So when you take a look at how they're sourcing the protein, uh, the higher quality proteins are going to be a little bit more expensive, but you're going to have less kind of added ingredient contamination in there. And you're also gonna have a pure, cleaner product at the end of the day. Now the sweeteners themselves, you wanna try to stick to something that is much more natural flavor. Like a stevia, or stevia, however you wanna pronounce it, is one of the best ones that you can sweeten anything with. It comes from the actual stevia plant. Things you wanna stay away from are aspartame. You'll see some that actually just sweeten it with straight sucrose or sugar. Uh, there's conflicting stuff when it comes to sucralose, but for the most part, a lot of companies, they don't use enough sucralose to have any real detrimental kind of health effect. But whenever you can, try to take, get a product that is sweetened with stevia or another natural sweetener. Now, flavoring wise, you wanna to stick to all natural flavors. I personally stick to co uh, chocolate for the simple fact of it's hard to screw it up. And the companies I will typically purchase from will use actual raw cocoa or actual cocoa powder in their drink, in their powder itself. So there's always going to be more of that natural flavor. It might be a little more bitter tasting at times. It might be a little bit sweeter depending on how they sweeten the batch. But overall, it's really hard to screw up the chocolate flavor. For those of you who like vanilla, look for something where they actually use vanilla bean extract. Don't look for artificial vanilla extract. So. What you want to see on your protein label is three main ingredients. The protein itself, the whey protein, the natural flavorings, and a simple sweet. Now, if you're looking at the back of the label and you've seen five, six, seven, eight ingredients, personally, I would advise you to avoid those products. Some of the best products on the market will only have a few ingredients. There will be a few very high quality um, products on the market that'll use four or five ingredients and usually those other ingredients that are added in is just to help with the dissolving 
of the protein part water. Sometimes whey protein itself, it doesn't dissolve so well. So by adding an emulsifier in there, it can improve how well it dissolves. But you want to always take a look at the ingredients on the label. And if you're unsure of something, pull out your smartphone, Google that ingredient and see what it actually is. Don't put something into your body that you actually have no clue what it is. All right, thank you for watching right to the end of this video. If you'd like to see more content by me, click the subscribe button here. And for another YouTube suggested video by me, click here. And if you liked what you saw today, don't forget, click the little like button below. Until next time, Coach Tony, Wrestling Podium Performance.